Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be setting up your Apple TV. So, the thing that it didn't come with is your HDMI cable. So just get one, this is how it looks like. So you don't need to spend, you know, 35 bucks or more on an HDMI cable that gets hooked up right there. So, that goes right there, electricity, and that's it. If you guys have an Ethernet cable, hook it up right there, or else you guys don't need it. This works fine with Wi-Fi, so you guys will have to set that up. This thing, this thing is to charge up right here, your controller. If you guys have an iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, you guys can use that cable as well, and your wall charger to charge up your controller, okay? So to charge up your controller, you hook this up right here from the other TV. Okay, and this can go to your computer if you guys want to. So yeah, that's how you charge up your thing. You guys don't need to charge it up right now. This comes with some electricity right now. So you guys can use it right away to set up your Apple TV. So we're just gonna have to hook this up to your electricity. And this HDMI cable, you guys will have to hook it up your TV whatever input HDMI input you guys have on your TV so we're gonna be doing that right now and then you guys will see how the setup process is which is very very easy just make sure to have an Apple ID okay or else you guys can set one up during your process with your Apple TV it just makes everything sync nicer work better but if you guys don't have one and you guys don't want to do it through here just go right now to your computer type in Apple ID in Google, and then just sign up for one. You guys can sign up with for one for free. No credit card needed, all right? Just right there on Google, okay? Just type in Apple ID. Okay, so as your Apple TV starts up, you guys should see an Apple logo, and then right away you guys should see this. So to pair your remote control, it's pretty easy. So here's my remote control, just press the top of it, okay? It should come already with some charge, so you guys don't have to worry about that right away. Um, from there, we just have to choose English. Again, you guys can scroll down just by the top of your control. You guys can scroll down, because this is sensitive, the top part of your controller. It's very sensitive, so you guys can actually scroll down, go sideways, and all that stuff. Right now, we're just going to click. So to click, just actually click on your remote control. Select that. And then we go into the next thing. So we chose English. You guys can choose any language, by the way. You guys can choose any country. Right now, we're just going to choose Canada. Because so why not? So we're going to click again. Then you guys can use Siri or don't use Siri. I recommend using Siri. So we're going to select use Siri. So if I go down on my controller and then side to side, I can just choose Siri. And again, I'm going to. So I'm pressing down on the top of my controller, all right? So this part, you guys can do this right away. If you guys don't want to, don't do it. You guys can set it up manually. It's your choice how you guys want to set up this part, okay? So in this case, since we do have an iPod Touch, we have an iPad, and we have an iPhone, we're gonna do the first setup because it just makes it a little bit easier. And if it doesn't work, we can always set it up manually which again, it's pretty easy. So there we go. So just follow these steps. So I'm gonna teach you these steps. Okay, so you're on your iDevice, just make sure to have Bluetooth Wi-Fi enabled. So just have it connected. And then once you get it kind of close to your Apple TV, just go on your iPad or iPhone, iPod touch it into settings, and you guys should see a screen like this. Okay, so I pretty much I pretty much had to touch my Apple TV with my iPad in order to sync up. But right now I can touch setup. Okay, in this case I don't have a passcode for this thing. So I'm gonna have to go into settings, set up the passcode in order to do this. But if you guys have a passcode, you guys can go on with the setup. So I'm supposed to see an authentication number on my Apple TV, so there it is. I'm gonna see that on my iPad, so I'm gonna have to type that in. It's gonna be different for everybody. So don't copy the one that I just put in. That's randomly made by Apple. It's gonna change every single time, okay? So again, that's not the setup. Anyways, on your iPad, iPhone, Apple Touch, you guys will see this. And then on your Apple TV, you will see that. So it's gonna set up Wi-Fi. That's gonna set up quite a few things, actually. So it's gonna make the whole setup process much, much easier. Although it's setting up Wi-Fi, you guys should keep your iPhone, iPod Touch pretty close to your Apple TV. 
not touching it, <laughs> but pretty close. After that, you guys will see this. You guys can choose what you guys want, but on your, your iPhone I put touch, you guys will see this, which you're finished, just select done. And then you guys can keep going with this setup. So what I suggest doing is not to require it, but it's up to you guys, okay? So I'm gonna choose never required. I don't care. This is more up to you guys again, but if you wanna keep your apps and home screens up to date on every app to be using this iCloud, you guys could use this and turn it on. In my case, I'm just gonna turn it on. Yeah, sure, why not? And then I'm gonna choose that I do want them to know my location. So there we go. And this stuff will take a couple gigs so I wouldn't, I'm gonna say not now because it does take up almost one gig. It's a lot, 800 megabytes, it's almost a gig. So I would not do it, I don't recommend doing that, okay? Analytics, I would always send. They're just making products faster, so I don't mind. Yes, they're taking your privacy away and so on, but trust me, they're doing it anyways. Analytics, share with developers, I do. And terms and conditions, you have to agree. So the other ones, you guys could have said no, but terms and conditions, you guys have to. So the first thing you guys should do with the Apple TV is actually go down into settings. Okay. From settings, what you guys should do is just update your system, just in case. So go right down into system. So you guys can scroll down just by going down your remote select software updates and from here you guys should update your software so the very first thing you guys should do i'm not going to do it right now because it takes forever and i want to show you a couple of things before i let you go so that's where you guys do the updates if something goes wrong with the apple tv maybe netflix it's glitchy it's not letting you log in or uh, it's just glitchy it's not playing or whatever for whatever reason you guys should always check your updates. Most likely it's an update that you guys need to do and that's why it's acting up. Something else you guys should do is reset your Apple TV. So from there, if you guys go to reset, you guys should reset, okay? If something, again, is glitchy, it's wrong, that will fix it for sure. Apple TVs don't have that many things. Something else that you guys do want to download is YouTube, Netflix, you guys will not see that. Those are free. You guys can do it right here from the Apple Store. So just scroll up, Apple Store, they're free again. Just search for them. You can, you can even press Siri on your remote control. So right now my remote control, let me just try to focus in so you guys can see it. You guys will see Siri up here. If you guys hold it, so again, you guys have to hold it, say what you want, and then it's gonna understand you, okay? So you guys could tell Siri to look for YouTube for you. So you guys can download the app. I use Siri quite a bit. So for most of you, YouTube's the biggest thing. Highly recommend it. Netflix, obviously. And then you guys have other ones. And there's actually a few things, a few apps that let you watch live TV. And uh, I have a few games already set up here. And that's because on my account with my other Apple TV, I already have these apps. So automatically they download onto this Apple TV. All right, so if you guys do have other Apple TVs, they can all be synced with the same apps or you guys can have individual apps on each Apple TV. It's all up to you guys. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here within the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.